Welcome back everyone to McNeil's Garage. Tonight we're going to be putting Trevor's 5.3 with the 4L60 transmission down in his truck. We got it all cleaned up. We'll bring y'all in here in a second and show you how clean we got it. And uh, got the motor mounts, got the new motor mounts in there. We're going to put it in there and once we get the Terminator Max, then we'll hook all that up. So stay tuned and here we go. All right, really wasn't that hard. Sit it in there, got the transmission crossover, got the bolt through that. Trevor got a uh, the nut on, so that won't go nowhere. Got the motor mounts in here. We got the adjustable kind, and we've got, once we get, well, we can probably jack it up and go ahead and start tightening up the, uh, the bolts on the uh, adjustable motor mounts. And then tighten up the nut back here on the on the transmission. And from here on out, it's just putting everything on. So this here is Trevor's wiring harness that he just uploaded a video to. Uh, that's for the uh, the body. So we'll have. Uh, if anyone knows where you can get a good deal on the Terminator Max, comment down below and. Uh, let us know, uh, cause we're gonna get a Terminator Max on this and uh, be able to run everything. But yeah, we're probably gonna call tonight. We'll probably just jack it up, tighten the bolts up, tighten the bolts up back there. Maybe do a little bit here, there and yonder, but I'm tired. I'm gonna go in, take a shower and go to bed. And for those wondering, this was a 4L60 truck. The, um, this is your transmission cross member and it, the uh, the bolt for the mount does go right in. That's the nut sitting right there. So this is the 99 4L60. So this is the one that was already attached to the LS. So it does go in the stock location. From everything I've heard, I can use the stock drive shaft as well. Now, again, this is two wheel drive, so that might be different from four wheel drive, but that's what I know for this truck. Yep, so all the transmission line still hooked up to the transmission. We can just move those around, plug the radiator in it, put the fan on it, hook up the power steering pump, put the intake on it. Got to get some headers for it, coil packs, uh, the intake, hook up all the grounds. We're going to slow the grounds on these things. And I put the drive shaft in. We got to put a new huge one in the drive shaft, so <clears throat> that'll be a uh, well, I was hoping we put it in tonight, but I ain't gonna mess with tonight, so. We'll do that off camera. Yeah. That's a, I hate it. I hate those stupid U joints. But, there it is. Looks pretty good. Pretty simple. I think Trevor said the time lapse was like 32 seconds. Uh, I think it probably took us all around. Maybe, 10, yeah, maybe 10, 10 to 15. minutes yeah. to put it in there. That was record timing. So. Pops right in, get the new motor mounts. I uh, gotta take the lift plate off of it now. I don't wanna put the intake on it until we get the wiring ran down where we need it, down above the transmission. Get all that wiring stuff down, bring it up here, then put the intake, because once you put the intake on, everything back here is just a pain in the butt to get to. So that's it. You got anything else, Trevor? No, sir. All, all right. right. Happy, hope, happy, happy. Hope you all like this. Thank you all, everyone who's been following along with the build. Thank you, everyone, for the new uh, new subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, keep on liking them. Comment down below if y'all know where a Terminator Max is. Uh, share it to uh, different groups if y'all want to about these things. I know a lot of people ask about this. So pretty simple stuff. Only thing ain't simple is the wiring. Wiring ain't my specialty. Well, that's why I did it. Yeah, that's why Trevor did all that, because I'm not no wire guy. But yeah, comment, uh, like, share, 
subscribe. Go check out our uh, Facebook page, McNeil's Garage, over on Facebook. Uh, we've been doing some stuff on and off on there, too. So, all right. Trevor don't have nothing else. Sean McNeil, McNeil's Garage, saying see y'all later. And Trevor. Say see y'all later.